Hey there, I have never imagined myself in this point of my life when I'm building my 5-inch drone to learn freestyle and achieve better performance. So, if you are here and clicked on this video, you're probably interested in drone building process, learn the best components on the market, on my opinion, by the way, and join me on this journey. Let's dive in. Let's get straight to the point. We can quickly go over components of my drone. For the frame of my 5-inch drone, the ideal and quite interesting choice turned out to be the Luminier Cove S2 Johnny FPV. The frame is made of 5 mm thick carbon fiber. The X-Lock system allows you to replace a broken arm by simply unscrewing one vertical screw and losing the X-Lock screw. I would also like to highlight one of the unique features of this frame the adjustable rear GoPro camera mount. For the flight controller, I choose the Speedy B F7 version tour stack, which includes the flight controller and a 5 amps 32 bits 4 in 1 EAC board. Fully compatible with popular flight controller firmware like Betafly and iNav, giving you flexibility in tuning and configuring your drone multiple UART ports for connecting additional peripherals such as GPS models, telemetry or additional sensors. Features soldering pads on one end and pin connector on another in case soldering is not your thing. The 50 amps 4-in-1 ESCs is fitted with a CNC heat sink shield to significantly reduce the heat from your MOSFETs. This AC should have no issue with overheating. The video transmission model, I choose the Kadek Polar with support a 5.8 GHz digital video signal and 720 resolution at 60 frames per, per second image transmission. It offers a transmission range of up to 4 km and a minimum end-to-end -end latency of 32 milliseconds. I needed the ability to see at night. This kit comes with a 12 cm cable, which isn't long enough for this setup. You will need to order a longer cable and a 15 cm cable could be the perfect choice. Link in the description below. For telemetry, I choose a TBS Crossfire Nano Receiver. This is work perfectly with my Tango remote control. Welcome to Tango 2. My motors are the T-Motor F40 Pro 5 2150 revolutions per minute per volt. They provide a great balance between efficiency and control, making them ideal for freestyle flying. The 4.3 pitch gives a nice mix of responsiveness and smooth throttle control, while the triple A design ensures stability and grip in the air. I'm excited to see how they perform in real flights. Starting with the frame build. Here we go. <laughs> I have assembled it, and the instructions that come with the frame pretty much self-explanatory. If you have any questions or encounter any issues while assembling the frame, please leave a comment below and I will be back with answer soon. I'm using race wire to connect my motors. It simplifies motor replacement without the need to desolder and resolder wires on the fly controller, especially useful if you have made your drone waterproof. It also protects motor wires from being cut due to propeller strikes and bending. Plus, it gives the build a clean and organized look. Definitely a great addition for durability and maintenance.
Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Я все время смотрела в сторону. Только сейчас ты поняла. Окей, okay. done. I did my best today.